Hello Internet, this is going to be a tutorial that was requested um, from someone. Uh, I'll just throw that out right now. If you have any requests, feel free to PM me and I'll try to fulfill those requests to the best of my ability in a short time frame. Um, but also, so this is a request for a uh, tutorial on how to take a any kind of video file, uh, a video file that you may have edited or whatnot, and put it onto and make it into a DVD. So, uh, to start off with this, there's many different ways to do this, and I'm gonna I'm making like a whole video series out, uh, <laughs> essentially out of this, and uh, there's gonna they're all gonna be linked in this main video. I do some. Uh, I'll put the links in the sidebar, and I'll do some of those annotation links in the actual video um, to link you to the other videos. Uh, for, so this first video is basically going to be for the links and for information. Uh, so uh, there's a couple things I want to talk about really quick. Uh, the first uh, tutorial I did the last time. I, d I used Sony Vegas to pull a VLB file off of a DVD and put it into Sony Vegas to edit. That was for, that was a tutorial geared towards someone's specific request for a tutorial, and so that's why I did it all in Vegas because they needed to pull it off a DVD and edit it in Vegas. Um, there are multiple ways to get those ISO files off the DVDs and into a editable format. Um, there one way is to use uh, Amersoft DVD Ripper. It's about 25 bucks. There are free alternatives out there, but like Handbrake is a good free alternative, and I believe there's one called Xbox 360 Converter or something like that. I tried both of them. Uh, I didn't like them myself, so I went ahead and bought the $25 program to do it, um, and it's it's been a nice program. <laughs> so. Uh, in those types of programs, in these types of programs, they're basically just DVD rippers. They will rip off uh, the video files and turn them into whatever format you want, and then you can use that format and import that into uh, some kind of video editing tool or DVD authoring tool and burn it onto a DVD or edit and then burn it onto a DVD, etc. Um, also, a thing to note in the first tutorial I did was Vegas Pro. Um, it's the um, it's the professional version and uh, or the consumer grade pro. I mean, not the consumer grade, the commercial grade product. The consumer grade product of Sony Vegas Pro would be uh, Sony Vegas Movie Maker, and that's it's a consumer grade product. It's missing a few features, but unless you're really advanced at video editing, you're not even going to notice. I mean. The one feature I know it's missing is like video masking, and that's it. That's the only feature I'm aware that it's missing. So uh, I wouldn't be too worried about it. It's definitely the the price difference definitely makes up for the um, <laughs> the uh, lack of the video masking tool. So uh, unless you absolutely have to video mask, I would suggest getting a Sony Movie Ma Sony Vegas Movie Maker over Sony Pro. Um, however, if you can, uh, don't buy either of those and get the, you know, something, so a free program to pull it off of a DVD or use Windows Movie Maker to edit or, or something else, some other, or a cheaper uh, editing program that you may find that may have come bumble bundled with your computer, or, you know, because I had, I know sometimes the, like HP or Dell might bundle some special, um, video editing software and maybe when you buy your video camera it'll come with a, a video editing suite or something like that um, so if that uh, so I mean uh, oh another thing to note in Sony Vegas mo uh, Movie Maker there is a DVD authoring tool so you wouldn't need to actually watch this DV this tutorial if uh, you had Sony Vegas Movie Maker because you could just click on that and it'd be very straight it'd be uh, relatively straightforward on how to make a DVD using that tool. Um, when you have, if you buy Sony Vegas Pro, uh, Sony Vegas uh, comes with DVD Architect Pro and that's Sony Vegas Pro's uh, way of getting it into a DVD. So I'll show you that way and several other ways in my other videos on how to uh, import them. 
or export them, uh, make a DVD from the video files in Sony Vegas Pro. I'll use Sony Vegas Pro one whole way and I'll do it multiple other ways with just edited files to show you the uh, you know the exact way. Um, the reason why there is DVD Architect Pro is because DVD Architect Pro is more of, of a uh, what's the word again? Shoot. Commercial grade product. It can do uh, Blu-rays, etc. And so uh, something that maybe movie studio can't. I'm not sure on that, but um, so that's why it exists. Um, however, always be aware of the free options. Uh, in this case, Windows DVD Maker does come with Windows Vista and Windows 7. Um, I used the Vista version, and I was not very pleased with it the first time I used it because my audio and video got unsynced. But you know, maybe the Windows 7 version, which is this version right here, uh, might be uh, a little different. Um, so we'll try that out. I'll test it out. Uh, maybe I'll put a little annotation or in the sidebar of the one that I do for the Windows DVD Maker on uh, if the video and audio were in sync or not. Um, so basically, let's go ahead and get started. So this will be the end of the first video. Uh, click on one of the annotations that uh, I've been going through this whole video the whole time and uh, to get to the next video.